What is going on guys? My name is Atlantis and welcome back to Ice and Fire. My god, it has been a long time since I was even in this world, much less played Minecraft at all. I think the last time I played was when I last made a video. But anyway, we've got some things to do today. First things first, there's Stratosphere. Look at him! I haven't seen him in ages. He looks so majestic sleeping up there. He's also very loud. I don't remember them being this loud, but they're very loud. Anyway, let's head down to our base down here. Now that I remember which button is the actual down button, there were several very painful mistakes figuring out which one was the down button again. <laughs> but anyway, we've got a few things to get done today. First things first, let's have a look at this base around here. Now, this base, it has been with us since the start of the series, more or less, and I like it, don't get me wrong, I like it. It needs some work, it definitely needs some work, but, eh, it's, it's getting a bit, it's a bit on the old side, I suppose. So, what I am thinking is relocating. Now, I know that we've done this in the past, relocated, and started new things, but, just hear me out, it has been a while, and I want to see new things. I have completely forgotten what I was planning for this place and to be honest I think it might be better to start somewhere new and I have picked out a better spot and you're gonna see why you'll see why once we get there I promise I promise also I I have no oh that's not the door that's that is not the door <laughs> that's the door I have no idea what I was thinking with all this storage like these chests these two chests rows of chests here make sense and everything below that it just it just devolves I don't understand but anyway we need to head over to the new area, I think. I don't know. I've completely forgotten how to do any of this, so I hope what I'm saying makes sense. But our new area is more or less directly in that direction. Also, we'll break her down there. Oh, also, also, one thing to show. Two, two minutes into this, one of my noodles drowned. <laughs> Mr. Spaghetti was one of the death worms we had. Oh, God, you're loud. Was one of the death worms we had in, in the soup. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> This is just not where I- Why would you drop me here? This was not my plan. Right, anyway, now that's covered up. One of our death worms may have drowned. I saw him stuck in a wall and I tried to break him free, but I couldn't get to him in time and we've lost another one. Yep, uh, so we'll add Mr. Spaghetti <laughs> next to these two. But anyway, that's a project for not right now. At least this one's still alive. Mr. Noodle Jr. is at Junal? Jeez, no. I can't talk. Mr. Noodle Jr., thank you. Anyway, <laughs> let's take World Breaker. I know we've got Stratosphere up there, and he's nice and all, but one thing I did, did, jeez, I can't talk one of these days, but not today. One thing I did rediscover is how laggy things tend to be when flying. So we'll just take World Breaker and hope he doesn't break my world again. But let's head this way. If, can I even get, hold on. You see, the spot I, I scouted, looked for, I don't know if it's actually connected to this bit of water. <laughs> oh, World Breaker, World, I, I can't talk. World Breaker might have a bit of a fun time trying to get over there. Uh, let's just take, let's just take one of the dragons. <laughs> that might be a better idea. Uh, let's park you, shall we? Yes, you're parked. Cool. Where's, where's, I forgot to put the bars back. You see, I'm all over the place. I haven't done this in like a year and a half. But here we go. This will be fine. God, you are loud. Alright, I'm gonna put these bars back and we'll be on our way. Alright. We have arrived. So, I know it's not the most impre- That is not the- that, There we go. That's the button. This island. It's not the most impressive thing. There are a lot of- No, my god, there's so many things! Go away! <laughs> me, me, me. I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I know it's not the most impressive thing. Ah! Why? Leave me be. I don't... No, go away. Listen here. I don't approve. You need to stop. This is not okay. Stop, 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 stop it. Quit it. Now you listen here. That's not nice. Right then. <laughs> okay, the sea serpent said no, but I say yes. So... I know it's not the big mountain we were living in. It's not nothing nothing fancy, nothing special, but I think we can turn it into something fancy and special. The biggest reason I chose it, well, the second biggest reason, is because of that. And that leads us into our project for today, which is going to be doing something for our aquatic creatures. So this big pool here, I think would be perfect to put the hippocamps in. Then we can just build like a wall or a fence out here, and then they don't have to sit on a dry stone land all day. <laughs> 
Also, this area allows for a bit more expansion compared to our mountain we had. Where am I? Where? Do I even have fireworks? No. <laughs> of course I don't. Why would I? Um, this area, it allows for a bit more expansion into that direction. Uh, yes, into the stars. That direction over there across the river. <gasps> it's so cute! I forgot what these are called, but they're cute. <laughs> it allows for expansion into this direction, so that way our dragons don't have to be smushed into a little hole in the ground. And if you did see back at the start of the video, Stratosphere's gotten a bit big for our base. He doesn't he doesn't fit, and it is getting a bit crowded. This island allows for a lot more space and a lot more room to grow in that direction. Now, there's one more reason why I chose this area. And that also leads into the second bit of what we're doing today. Oh, I've angered it. Oh dear. Anyway. <laughs> If we head slightly this direction, you'll see that there is a mesa biome. And mesa biomes spawn and these loud things that one of these loud things that I'm sitting on, they spawn lightning dragons. Specifically the underground variety, and that's the kind we need. Now, after digging through all of my storage and my backpack and all that, we don't have a female lightning dragon. <laughs> and I want a female lightning dragon so we can actually get baby lightning dragons without having to murder any more of them. So, that will be the other project for today. A bit of a build, a bit of a get the Durgan, the usual. T good traditional start, I suppose, to what will hopefully be a semi-new direction for this little adventure we've got going here. But, first things first, I need to haul everything over here and probably get rid of that. That is that is a hazard. Uh, you listen here. You are a hazard and I don't like you being near me. <laughs> Please go away. Right then. Oh, d no, there are three. I don't like three. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. No, go away. I'll get that dragon later. I want to go loot this, even though, if I remember right, there was nothing this place had. I, I want to see it. There was nothing this, this had to offer me at this point. There was just, I had oh, oh, no, I'll, I'll take this. I'll take books. I like books. I like bones. I'll take some bones. Ow, stop. Stop. That's rude. Rude and rude. Stop it. Am I full of arrows again? <laughs> I'm almost full of arrows again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. But anyway, I am going to go haul a few things over here and attempt to not die. A few essentials, I suppose. Some stuff to make a bit more food. Maybe start a little farm going. You know, get some basic things over here and also perhaps haul some dragons over here. I don't even have a spawn set here. If I die, I'm screwed. I haven't died in a while though, so there's that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go work on that. And we'll be back once I have moved some of the things over here. Alright, now that I'm back home and I have refreshed my stack of lasagna, it is time to attempt to move these things. Now this is going to be a task. Because I still I have no idea if that area we've chosen is even remotely close to the, the, the ocean that we're connected to. I don't know if I have to go over land or not. So what we're going to do... <laughs> So we're just gonna tie some. We've chained them together. That was not my intention. <sighs> okay, <laughs> you listen here. This is not my plan. <sighs> well, I hope that's not permanent. <laughs> I hope I can get those off somehow. I don't remember how this how, they, how it works. Let's just grab a few more chains here. So the plan is essentially to fly them over. Now, this is gonna be fine. Okay, cool. They're chained together. Okay, this- oh, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> okay, what- how do I remove chain? I know there, there's gotta be a way. Okay, that, that's one way. How do I remove the other one? H how do get off? How- how get chain off? If I just- if I just run away? Quickly? Eh, nope. <laughs> just- well, at least they're not going to be separated anytime soon. <laughs> Eh, go this way. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> well, I mean, at least they're not. At least they'll, they'll, they'll stay together. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've got it. No, I don't. I don't got it. Wait, maybe I do got it. Ah, I've chained them together even more. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just go up and hope they don't splat on the ground. There we go. Perfect. Oh, d oh my god! Okay. This is fine. Kelp is dead. That's fine. Coral is still alive. <laughs> Coral is alive and well. There's a chain down there that is not letting me go. Let me go. 
Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We got this. We got one. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> right, so we're gonna fly Coral all the way over to our new home. And hopefully Coral doesn't go splat on the way there. <laughs> okay, we've made it. We've made it to our island. Now I just need to gently place Hippocampus in water. Place. Don't you dare fling back towards the not the water. Okay. Just gently place Hippocamp in water. D gently place. <laughs> don't don't go too high. Don't. Okay. Good. There we go. Okay. Oh god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> well, that's just great, isn't it? You, sir, have ruined my day. <laughs> All that effort, and you blow it up. You stop it. You stop it. Right. Well, we're making three graves today. <laughs> now you listen here. I don't appreciate this. You are killing my things. You are hurting my dragon. And I'm not happy. All of you need to just stop. Stop. It's time to stop. What is your health even? Look at this. You've done like five damage. How dare you? I actually did like seven, but I fixed two of them. I can't believe they do this. Okay, I need to find a sheep. <laughs> I need to find a, a sheep so I can sleep and make all of these things not exist anymore. <laughs> My god. And then we need to go find some new hippocampus since I just killed both of them. Actually, no, I didn't kill them. You killed them. And gravity killed the other one. It's not my fault. I do not take the blame for this. I did not chain them together and then try to fly them across a bunch of land. Who would do such a thing? Definitely not me. But anyway, I need to find a sheep so I can actually sleep and avoid death. <laughs> okay, now that it's daytime, I have just broken my spawn point, but that's fine. I can put it back. Let's go pretend nothing ever happened. We'll go find another hippocampus and just pretend that we just changed their colors. They can do that. They're magic like that. Never know the difference. Okay, a uh, box. Bed. That's a bed, not a box. Okay, hippocampus. Where would I be if I were a seahorse? Oh, look. It's adorable. It's adorable. I love these things. I wonder if they're still bugged. Probably, because I haven't updated anything. Now, I see that over there, and I don't like it. Hippocampus, right. I should probably... Yeah, I should probably take a dragon to go do this. <laughs> Instead of just swimming around hoping to find something. <laughs> they tame with kelp, don't they? I hope they tame with kelp, because I don't have sponges. <laughs> At one point they tamed with sponges, but I don't, I don't remember. <gasps> There's some! Um, look at that, right there! Easy enough. Like nothing bad ever happened. Because nothing bad ever happens in this lovely world, and we definitely didn't drop things from the sky or blow something up. Okay. You've eaten all my kelp. Oh, how could you? Fine. I need more kelp then. More kelp. All the kelp. We will get every piece of kelp in the ocean, and we will feed it to you, and you will be happy about it. I'm also running out of air. Hmm. Funny how that works. Oh look, they follow me! That's cute! I want that one. I like the green one. I want the green one, but first more kelp. I kinda want a red one again. You see, I know my color theme is all blue and like ice and all that, but... <gasps> oh my god, it's tame! I think? I think it's tame. Is it tame? I can't tell. Can I... can I do the thing? I saw hearts. Hearts are good, right? Ow. Stop! If you could just not do that. I will just feed you kelp until you love me. It's not kelp, is it? It's sponges. It's gotta be sponges. Ah! I'm speed and I don't like it. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. I don't need speed, Mr. Dolphin, please. I need, I need control. <laughs> not speed. Come here. I'm going to lead you up here. Come follow me. Come follow me. You will be my friend. I will use other methods if necessary. <laughs> Come on, we're going this way. I don't care 
what it takes. You will be my friend, and I'm going to build you a lovely house, and you're going to like it. Right. I haven't the slightest idea. Well, at least that's how you get the chains off. Come here. No, no. Come, come back. I can't tell if it's my friend or not. It's probably not. <gasps> it is my friend! It did tame. Need to get a saddle on it then. There we go. It's my friend. See? I made a friend. <laughs> First day back and we're already making friends. Alright, uh, let's go back. Oh, no. Oh, well. You know what? No. You asked for this. You should not have done that. I don't appreciate it. You have interrupted me and my friend time. Stop it. Thank you. Where's my friend? My friend is... It's down there. Friend, come back. Friend? Friend? There. I've got my friend back. Let's go. Whee! <laughs> Let's go put you back in your new home. And hopefully you'll stay there. Uh, my new home is this way. I think. Yeah, it's right here. Here's your new home. See? This is a good new home. You'll like this place, trust me. There's fish and kelp. The two things you love the most. And water. Water is an important thing, too. <laughs> um, I've got some sand. Let's just block it off right now. Just temporary, temporary block off. Just to make sure that our new friend here does not escape. Don't want the new friend to escape. Cool. New friend has now been put in the new friend home. Where is new friend? Oh my god. New friend is down there. That's cute. Okay. Right, we need to go find another new friend. New friend cannot be alone. We need new friend 2.0 or 3.0, whatever whatever number we're at now. <laughs> so there was another hippocamp. Um, I'm lacking a saddle. Well, I've got chains. That'll work. <laughs> oh my god. I want to go find a, a red one, though. I like red. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, it's going to be a miracle if I manage to get my other thing- <gasps> A red one! If I manage to get my other creatures over here without killing them. <laughs> the dragons will make it, no problem, no, no doubt about that. The flying things will have no problem whatsoever. It's the not flying things like these that are going to be <laughs> the problem. <laughs> Hello, new friend. Guess what? You're going to be my new friend. Look at that, you're my new friend. Come with me. <laughs> You get to go back home the hard way, because <laughs> I don't have another saddle. But getting Crete over here specifically, and the cockatrice, getting them both over here alive is going to be a task. Because we're going to have to do this method for them. <laughs> and I don't fancy walking them across the land. I don't think they'd survive, to be honest. This is their best bet. <laughs> and it's not a very good bet. <laughs> Oh my god, the first day back in this world and I'm killing everything I care about. It's fine. This is fine. There's nothing bad in my hands. This is fine. Okay. Hippo camp number two. Put you down in the friend... friend pond. Cool. Let's get you out of here before you drown. Uh, where is it? There it is. Cool. Uh, okay. remove the chain. Remove chain. Chain removed. Cool. Give, give, give chain. Cool. Now friend one and friend two have a nice little pond to hang out in. I need name tags. I need name tags for them. What are we gonna name them? First things back, what should we name the new, the, the hippocamps that were totally here the whole time and didn't fall from the sky or get blown up? What should we name them? They need names. I'm tempted to name that one Coral Jr. <laughs> Just because Coral was red. But this other one, what should we name it? This green one that's hiding in the bottom down there. Look at it down there. It looks so at home. We need some coral in this pond. I think that'll be the project today, is to just to decorate this pond and give them a nice little home and get started on our new little home here. But what should we name them? That one's a green one. Let me, let me bring it up, up on the land. Get a better view of it. See, this one on land, I'm, I'm already killing it. Look at it, it's green and orange. I like it. What should we name this one? And then the other one is just red. So need names for these, comment down below. Alright, uh, bring this up here. Let me off, please. Okay, cool. Right. Now, for this project to take place, I need to do some resource gathering and some other grindy stuff that I can do later today. But for right now, I want to go see if I can find us a quick little dragon layer over there. So, I'm gonna go dig a bunch of holes and hope for the best. So, I will be back when I either have found something or not have found something. Oh, hey, look! That was a lot quicker than I was expecting! I've only been at this for like 10 minutes! Okay, well, cool. 
Uh, let's see what we've got down in here, shall we? Is that a female or is that a male? I can't tell. I can't. I can't tell. My eyes do not do the eye. That looks like a female. <gasps> Can we get an egg? Are we get? I hope we get an egg. I really hope we get an egg. I want a black one. We've got blue. We've got purple. What other color? I think we've got bronze. Do we have bronze? I have no idea. So I hope I remember how to fight these things. I could probably just jump down in there and kill it. To be honest, I don't want to try. <laughs> oh, that would be a very bad idea. But then again, maybe. Just maybe. How how bad of an idea would it be to just jump down there? I'm gonna fall down there if I go into third person, whether I like it or not. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll do it the safe way. I'm not going to jump down there. Plus, I've got 60-something levels. I don't fancy losing those. <laughs> oh, look, it's awake. I don't like that it's awake. I would like it not to be awake. Okay, can I just go? Please don't fly. If you fly, bad things are gonna happen for both of us. Alright, cool. Well, I'm gonna do this till this thing dies, and then we will go see... Wow, okay, that didn't draw... That didn't even hit the damn thing. <laughs> and then we will go see what kind of egg we're going to get. Hey, there we go. And Yeet Fork is doing whatever... Right, <laughs> Yeet Fork, you are... You seem confused. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't have anything to light this place up. There we go. I think Eat Fork is- no, Eat Fork is not on the ground. That's just everything else trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, uh, let's make sure we've cleared out things a little bit. I don't have anything to make torches with, do I? Yeah, nope, I don't. I can't- I can't light this up. I apologize if this looks darker than it does for me, but I- I- I got- I got nothing. I can't make torches. I don't have any coal. Maybe some coal in one of these boxes. That's not coal. Mm, that's definitely not coal. <laughs> I, 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 I'm... Give me, just give me, just give me a second. Okay. I got to make four torches. That is enough. That will do. <laughs> I can get my yeet fork back without having to risk it dying, or me dying, or any dying. We don't like dying. Dying is not what we came here to do. We came here to murder things, not die. Okay, uh... You're, you're in the yeet fork spot. You don't go there. Okay, uh, stick that in there. That'll do. That should be enough inventory space, I hope. Alright, let's take the things and hope we get something. We should get something. No color. <gasps> Wait, do we get a- is that a- Okay, we got a bronze egg. I'll take it. Nice. That's new. I was hoping we get a black one. I really want a- I want a black one. <laughs> Alright, but I'll take it. Look at this. We get a little egg. Neat. Okay. That is a project for later in the episode. But cool. It took a lot less time than I thought it did. I think I only had to dig like five or six holes. That was really, really lucky. Okay, I'm gonna finish looting this and then we'll head back up to the surface and see what we're gonna do next. All right, cool. See, see, I only had to dig like, I think that's the third, the second, the third, and then there's another one just over where that thing is. This, this is gonna be a regular occurrence, isn't it? I'm gonna have to deal with these every day, aren't I? That's fine. Can, can I? Where's your hitbox? There it is. Just... There we go. They're not that bad to deal with. They just... They're a little buggy. <laughs> Before I was... See, there's my other hole. There it is. Before I was digging that hole over there, the thing was just dancing on top of that hole over there. And, I don't know. They're, they're, they're incredibly buggy, and I don't know how I feel about it. But that's okay. We can kill them easily. And they don't do that much damage, I, I think. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's head back over to our spot. So, that little egg, in order to hatch it, we need it to be raining. And it's not raining. So, what I'm going to do now is work on gathering some resources. Because I don't have any wood, and I need wood. And I also need to haul a bunch of my resources over here. And I don't have time for that right now. So, I will be working on that later. But... Later is not now. I, I don't know. I forgot how to talk. I forgot how to word. I forgot how any of this works. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna work on hauling stuff back and forth and gonna gather some resources and I will see you guys either when it's raining next or when I have worked on a project. So time lapse maybe? I don't know what's gonna be next. We'll see. Anyway, on to whatever's next I suppose. Alright, I am right in the middle of my time lapse, but while I was down in the hole I was digging, 
I heard it start raining, so that means we get to hatch the egg. Now, pay absolutely no attention to what else is in this bag, but it is time to hatch our little lightning dragon egg. And also, if you notice, there's another egg in there, because while I was on my way exploring, trying to get resources, I found another layer sticking out of the ground, and you'll get to see that a bit in the time lapse or a bit later on in the video. But I found one, and it had a dragon in it that dropped an egg. So now we've got that egg. I don't know if I'm gonna hatch it, but can't really do it right now because it's raining. Anyway, I need to place this thing. <laughs> and there it go! I have no, I don't know if it's gonna rain long enough for this thing to hatch. I really hope it does. But I'm gonna sit here and watch it spin for a little bit. And then I'll be back when it hatches. <gasps> hey, there we go! The one, the one second I look away. Oh, it's got blue eyes! I didn't know they had blue eyes on these little ones. Wait, okay, sit, sit. Th that's not that note. Wait, I remember how- there we go. <laughs> I remember how to use the stick. Okay, let's see. Are you male or female? That's not the C button. Why? <laughs> They're all male! Uh, I'm never gonna get baby dragons without having to kill them, I swear to god, but that's okay. Look how cute he is! He's got little blue eyes. I like the blue eyes, that's adorable. Cool. All right, well, that's another little dragon next added to our collection, and I don't have to move this one either. It, it hatched. This is the first dragon born in our new little base area. He's so cute. I love him. He's cute. I really like him. I like him more than I thought I would. I'm not a fan of the bronze, but I like it. It's the blue eyes that do it. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work on my time lapse and eventually remove that floating tree up there. <laughs> But I need to get back to work on that. It's taken me like a day and a half to get where I am, and it's been an adventure. <laughs> I'll explain in the time lapse exactly why. <laughs> All right, but now that I know for sure there's going to be a time lapse next, on to the time lapse. So for this time lapse build thing, the whole plan here, as I mentioned earlier, was to build a little home for our hippocamps. Now you can see Worldbreaker floating out there. I brought him over so I had a conduit because he's got a conduit attached to his head. Um, but the point of this is to make a little home for our little hippocampuses. So what I originally was thinking of doing was just building a little pond with some coral and some seaweed and calling it a day, but I decided that wouldn't be enough. So I spent the last three days gathering resources to make a bit of an underwater temple sort of it, which is what we're starting right about now in the in the video, in the time lapse. So I was taking sort of, I guess, a bit of a mystical sort of inspiration. I have no idea what I would call it. Greek, I guess? I have no idea. But it required quartz, prismarine, and coral, so you'd make what you will of that. <laughs> now, gathering the resources for this, it was relatively easy-ish. You know, I have not played this game in a very long time, and this is the first build I've done in a very long time, and I forgot all of the efficient methods I knew for gathering resources or doing things quickly, so that's why it took so long. But the quartz, that was easy to get. Go to the nether. I had to go back twice because I ran out the first time, but that wasn't too bad. Just an hour or two of mining, it didn't take that long. The coral took a little bit longer because I had to find a coral reef, and but I never ran out of coral, and I found it. It didn't take long. It was on a dragon, it didn't take long at all. The Prismarine. <laughs> My god, the Prismarine. I forgot how to raid a monument, so I went there without water breathing potions or anything the first time. The second time I had potions, but I forgot to make them last eight minutes, so there I was in the center of a monument, trying not to drown with my three three minute long potions. And the third time, I forgot to bring flint and steel like the TNT I had with me. So that was a fun time. But I managed to do it, and I got enough prismarine to last me for the whole build. And, yeah. Now, honestly, at this point in the build, I wasn't 100% sure what I would wanted to do. Because in a test world, I had made that entrance bit that you can see. I practiced that, I got it to a point where I was like, okay, this is what I kind of want to do. But from this point on, I had no idea exactly what I was really trying to do. And to be honest, I still think it needs to be expanded on. And this is probably a project I'm going to come back to, either in my spare time or in another video. Who knows? But this is definitely going to be a work in progress for a good bit of time. <laughs> So the idea here was to, I guess, build a little home just to start, a little cave for our hippocamps. And they do, they love this cave. They don't leave. They never leave. But that was the plan here. And I had an idea, just just a thought of making an underwater tunnel this, this system, system for our hippocamps so they can travel underneath our base and go to various different areas. It's an interesting thought. I'll, I'll expand on it later. But it's, it's just a thought. It's an idea. And maybe we'll do it later. But this project... <laughs> The water made it such a pain, and you guys can see things clearly, but I had no night vision, so I couldn't see. It was dark, 
there was water, and it was it was very annoying to say the least. But in the end, we ended up getting it done. Um, placing all the source blocks for the water was the biggest pain. Also, if you've noticed by now, this is a bit of a long time lapse. Um, it's because it took me three days again to build this project, and there were about five different time lapse footages. And they, even though I cut out a fair bit, it still ended up being a bit long. Uh, I was bad at putting the camera in places, so the, it ended up getting cut quite a bit. Anyway, I will attempt to stop rambling now if something else comes up that I'm- Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I, I gained a brain cell by the end of this. <laughs> when it came time to fill up the, the pond, as you'll see towards the end, um, I, I remembered ice existed and I didn't have to just place a bunch of blocks and place a bunch of water and then replace all the blocks. So that, you'll see that later on. But I did a thing and I'm proud of it and I remembered something. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll stop rambling now. So enjoy the music, enjoy the time lapse, and we'll see you at the end. Alright guys, that was a very long time lapse, and I apologize if it went on for a bit longer. Like, it was he's finally got a spot to sit, but my god, that took me a while. It has been an interesting, I think it's, it's been like three or four days now? I think I'm recording this bit on the fourth day since that original bit, but it has taken me a little bit to get used to this game again, but it's getting better. Anyway, look at Stratosphere, he's actually got a place to sit now. He can't just, he doesn't just have to sit in a horn and call it a day. But let's go have a look at our project here. Now, like I said in the time lapse, I think, I think it said something in the time lapse, I did work on it a little bit off camera, and it's because I kept staring at it until I did, until I liked it. So as you can see, there's a bit more kelp and such. At the end of the time lapse, I felt like something was missing from it. So I took a break and I came back and I worked on it a bit and adding some greenery to it made a massive difference. We've got a dolphin in here. It spawned in here. I did not put it here. <laughs> but I I actually kind of like it. It still, it still needs a bit of work, I think. We need a bit more detail on the walls there. We could definitely do some ter terraforming. 
adjust the sand, you know, m m maybe move the gravel and all that. But I think it looks good for what it is, and considering that it's the first thing I've put together since I started playing this game, is not too bad. But let's go have a look in here. So I've done a bit more detailing in this, I've made this blend in a little bit, and I added a bunch of seagrass, that's basically the only real difference. I still need to put those as source blocks, <laughs> but I'll do that, not right now. But look at this, I like it, and that wall there is, it's obviously not done, because I think like I said in the time-lapse, I think we can expand in that direction and make an underwater series of tunnels, but that's a project for not right now. But look at these two! They like it in here. They, they're in here on their own. They haven't left. I I think I even put this one back outside, but he went back in here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We're gonna put him outside, and I wonder, I wonder if he'll go back in eventually. <laughs> but I really like this place. I think we need to get a few more hippocamps to put in here, but I think we've, we've got room for about three in here. Maybe four. I don't want it to be too crowded. Also some tropical fish. I need to go find some, but that's alright. I'll do that. I'll do that some other time. But I actually kind of like how this place turned out. This obviously need to do something with, but I like it. I do really like it. I did run out of pink coral fans, but that's okay. Anyway, we, as I said in the start, need a name for this boy and that boy. So let me know what we should name them. Uh, like I said, I might name this one Coral Jr., but who knows? We'll see. We'll see what the people say. But anyway, let's head back up here and let's get an idea of what the plan is from here on out. So, as I was saying, I don't, at least I think as I was saying, I think I said something in the time lapse. I don't know. It took me three tries to get the time lapse recording right, so I don't remember what actually got said and what didn't get said. So, <laughs> the, the sort of the plan here now is to make the water come up to the wall here and build like a little cliff. So that's going to take a little bit of time to do, but that'll be all right, we can do it. And then we're going to build around this side of the island and just start terraforming the thing. Like, it's it's a boring island right now, and also this river is far too thin in this area. It doesn't, it's not even a river in this area, it's just a little, just a few puddles in like, in like a little hole. <laughs> but that's a project for not right now, as I've said many times. <laughs> But there, I've got plans for this place, and it'll be interesting. And I like this biome a lot more than the savanna biome, so it'll certainly be a bit better on the whole inspiration aspect of things. But there's one other thing. So, there's this egg, right? So, interesting thing about this egg. As I mentioned previously, I was out gathering resources and I saw a dragon layer poking out of the drown. So, I went to get the dragon inside of it, and it was female, so it dropped an egg. Now, I don't know if I'm going to hatch this egg. We might just keep it for decoration. We will see. Let's see what people say. But speaking of dragons, our little, little baby here. Look at him. He's so cute. He's already a week old. He was sitting out for a lot of the, for a lot of the time lapse, so it, well, a good bit of it after I hatched him. The rain finally came about three, two-thirds of the way through the time lapse. But look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. I love him. I love him. I didn't think I'd like the bronze one, but I like him. <laughs> He's so tiny compared to Stratosphere. Stratosphere isn't even as big as he could be. Stratosphere is stage 5, but he's not completely fully grown. He'll be fully grown at 125 days. He can he's still he's going to get a bit bigger. <laughs> but that's okay. We got this little one. I like him. I really like him. We need a name for him by the way. So, let me know what you guys think we should name this little one. This is the first bronze dragon we've got. I mean, aside from fire dragons, I think. I think we've got a bronze fire dragon, don't we? I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember. I think we've even got a few... Yeah, we've got a few stashed back at home. Uh, but... That's not a fire dragon. Yeah, that's... That's in Caligon. And that's... That is... Is that in Caligon? That's in Caligon. Which one's this one? Who is this? Uh, I've forgotten the names. I forgot that I had... Which one are you? You're Cinder. Okay, cool. So yeah, Cinder and in Caligon. We could have a third black hmm. Interesting. God, they're so loud. I don't know how loud I'll make it in the video. I'm definitely turning that audio down, but my god, they're loud. Anyway, <laughs> this video has gone on long enough, so that is it for this episode, guys. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And again, I don't intend to disappear for a year and a half again, so hopefully this is the start of something new, something that we can continue with and not disappear after about three months, as per usual. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get busy moving some of our other creatures over here. Those two barely survived the journey, and we will see what happens in the next episode. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!